Hello everyone, this is your host Bilal and today I'm going to show you how to use Jungle Scout to find the best products for your Amazon FBA business. If you are a beginner who have no idea how to find products to sell on Amazon, then you definitely need the assistance of Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is one of the best product research tool of Amazon that I've ever used so far. I have been associated with e-commerce industry for quite some time and I totally understand what a beginner goes through when it comes to finding a winning product for their store. So keeping that in mind, I have categorized the beginner seller into three different categories who have no idea what to sell on Amazon. Category number one is I know something. They are the ones who have figured out a niche by themselves but they are struggling in finding a winning product to sell in this particular niche. Number two, the strugglers. They are the one who are confused between a couple of niches and then uh, and they want to find a winning product in those particular niches. And number three, you tell me. They are the one who just want a product that sell that is that they can sell easily. They don't want to bother in finding a niche. And the best part is that Jungle Scout take care of all kind of sellers. So if you can relate to any of those categories, you are going to find this tool very helpful. So let me show you how you should use it. First, you need to log in to your Jungle Scout dashboard with your credentials, and on the left side, you will see find products option on the top so i am doing research with category wise if you belong to the first kind of seller then you will need the help of product database uh, to find the product for your niche so here i am clicking it so this is what a product database looks like here you can see multiple niches and the on the top of uh, the niches you can see marketplace so you need to select the marketplace in which you want to sell then there as you can see there are a lot of niches and categories so you need to select one niche in which you want to find the products so here i am selecting a uh, baby niche so after selecting a niche you need to choose product type from oversized or standard option i am choosing standard as the oversized products are more costly to ship then select seller type i am taking all three options amazon fpa fpm now comes to the filter First, I need to select the price range of product. So I set the filter of minimum $15 because product below $15 would have very low profit margin. So it wouldn't be good for your business. Then comes to the review range. So here I am setting up for minimum 50 reviews. It is quite pretty, quite decent. Then comes sales filter. So I am going for minimum 600 monthly sales. So it would give me a decent product to sell online. So these are the main filter that is required to find product easily. You don't have to fill e every filter here. Now, as you can see, there are include and exclude keyword options. So I'm leaving it as it is. Now you just have to click on the search option to check out the product uh, within the niche that you have selected. In just a minute, you got more than 3000 products that has been selling for more than $15 and has minimum 50 reviews and have more than 600 monthly sales within the niche that you have selected. So I have selected baby niche and I got more than 3000 products that has been selling greatly in baby niche based on the filter that I have set. As you can see the tab of category monthly revenue and monthly sales you have the option to set it in ascending or descending order as you like like here i am resetting the list based on highest monthly sales so these are the products in baby niche with most monthly sales as you can see if you notice there is an asin number attached to each product and if you click on this number, it will take you to the keyword scout section of Jungle Scout. In the keyword scout section, you can check all the organic keywords on which this product is ranking. You can look into the search volume of each product along with their past 30 days and 90 days trend.
if you click on any keyword it will show you the entire search volume history of that particular keyword so you can easily optimize it in your product description Now coming back to the product database, you also have the option to check the original listing of the product by just clicking on the Amazon logo. So you can manually check the product listing, descriptions and everything. Now coming back to the product database. There is also one more useful feature that is fees breakdown. By clicking on this option, you can see the Amazon FBA fees, referral fees and variable closing fees. That would give you an overview about the cost of the particular product. Apart from that, there is also an FBA profit calculator option in which you can easily calculate the profit of any product by just adding the cost. Just go to AliExpress check the cost of the product and add here and you will understand how much you can earn on any particular product also you can add multiple niches the same filter setting like here i add automobile and beauty niche as you can see on the list the products of additional categories added in the list once you are done with this research you can save this filter and load it again anytime in the future i hope you understand how you can use jungle scout if you want the product for your niche now it's turn for the second beginners category if you haven't finalized any niche so far then you must use niche hunter feature of jungle scout Let's check out how Niche Hunter works. As you can see, the filter options are quite different from product database. First, you need to select Amazon Marketplace in which you want to say. Tick, all, tick on select all options to choose all categories. Once you select all categories, I would recommend to eliminate some categories that is quite risky for beginners to start with such as electronic groceries and phone accessories after selecting the categories come to the filter options first filter is average unit sold the higher number represents the good opportunity for the seller so i am selecting the range of 400 to 1000 plus Coming to the competition filter, which is quite straightforward. So obviously I need a less competitive product. So I am setting the filter from very low to medium. Then comes the average selling price filter. As I have told you earlier to target product that can be sell for at least $15. So you can have good profit margin. Then LQS filter. LQS means listing quality score. It is the algorithm of Jungle Scout that measures the quality of product listing by title, images, bullet points, and product description. So I would suggest to aim for lower quality score so that you can have the room for improvement. Then comes the niche score. The higher niche score means better opportunity for sellers. So I am setting it up for five to in, within five to ten range. Then comes the word count. It means how much words you want to include in the title keyword. As a beginner, you would you would better go for broad keywords. Then comes include and exclude keyword options that I would leave as it is and hit search button.
you get total of 2500,000 products from different niches you can see overview of different niches based on average units sold competition LQ as a niche score just click on any niche you and you can see the top product listing for that niche this is the beauty of the niche hunter before finalizing the product you get to analyze the entire niche so check out 5 to 10 listing of each niche and analyze the demand of and competition I would recommend to go for a niche in which different products getting equal sales not only one or two products getting all the sales so it me so that means that there are the diverse product categories in which so you have uh, more options to sell in that niche now comes the turn of third kind of beginners who just want to cash in the trend opportunities if you just want to find out the trending product then you must use the opportunity finder feature of jungle scout it is more or less similar to niche hunter however it has new feature as you can see here monthly search volume that tells about the popularity of the product so let's start it first select the marketplace then select all the categories and eliminate the same categories as we did in the niche hunter Then set the filter of average unit sold. I'm setting here for 500 to 1000 plus. Then set the competition from very low to medium. After that, set the monthly price. Then niche score. Lastly, set the monthly search volume here i am going for a higher uh, numbers that is at least 8000 and now take a look at your filter setting and then hit search so here we get 1250 items that has more than 8000 monthly search volume with a low competition and a monthly sales of more than 500 as you can notice due to the pandemic almost all the products that are trending in every niche are related to COVID-19 you need to find some product or keyword here that are unique as I'm scrolling down I noticed this mascaras antivirus in this list that is a Spanish word for mass. The trend has been rising immensely for the last three months for this product. The price of this product is on a constant rise with no sign of slowing down. Also, the search volume has witnessed a vertical growth in, in the trend since February. You can also check the product seasonality as this is not a seasonal product, so there is no data available. So just like, just like this, you can find a winning product within a minute or couple of minutes by setting up the opportunity finder filters in the right way so that's how you can use jungle scout to find the best selling item for your amazon fba business well jungle scout is not only limited to finding products you can also use it to find suppliers check sales analytics and also you can use it for inventory management if you want to know more about jungle scout then check out the detailed jungle scout review that we did on our website I have mentioned the link in the description below so do check it out and if you find this video informative then make sure to subscribe our channel and let us know in the comment section if you have any questions so that's it 
I will see you in next video. Until then, goodbye.